expression for experiment five, which is electrolyte or electrical conductivity of ionic and covalent, uh, covalent compound. Uh, what is electrolyte? Electrolyte is a substance that conducts electricity. So we are studying the conductivity behavior of different substances in this experiment. Uh, in order to find out what is conductive, what's not conductive, first of all, you read the lab manual and you also um, are going to watch the video, which I performed the experiment to see the compound that they were tested, which ones are, are conductor of electricity and which ones are not. And also, uh, electric, um, conductivity behavior of the reactants and products is also practiced in this, in this experiment. But to answer the pre-lab questions, you need some information, which is provided in the lab again, but I want to do to uh, highlight a few of those um, definitions and the requirement, the condition, what makes a compound to be electrolyte. So what is not electrolyte? What is if you say electrolyte, we do need ions, and those ions need to be mobile in order to conduct electricity. So if you have electrons are moving from one pole, another pole in the conductor meter, when you are testing this solution, you must have ions to conduct electricity. So uh, if we have molecular compounds, if you have molecular compound, it's not going to generate any ion. If you add, let's say, NaCl to water, it's going to generate Na plus and a Cl minus. Those are ions. But if you have a molecular compound, CH3OH, you add the water, it will dissolve because it has hydrogen bonding, but it's going to dissolve as molecule AQ designation, we give AQ designation and it's going to be AQ, AQ. So um, molecule, one molecule would give one molecule. For ionic compound, it gives one molecule, a, uh, one formula unit gives two ions. Unless ions are generated, we are not, we don't have electrical conductivity. So for molecular compound, that's kind of obvious that they are not electrolyte. All solid compounds, solid compound, if I have NaCl solid, is not going to conduct electricity because the ions are there, but ions are not mobile. So condition one, substance must contain ions. Condition two, substance, the ions must be mobile. If it's solid, it will not be mobile. And that's why uh, solids are not electrolyte, except for some metals and super like uh, superconductors. Strong electrolytes. What are strong electrolytes? Ele strong electrolytes, those are uh, substances like uh, salts that they dissolve, uh, ionic salts that they dissolve in, in water. Salt is ionic compound. So we, when you say salt, that means is a combination of a metal with non-metal. That is a salt. If is a combination of NaCl and salt, uh, L, um, Al, NO3, three aluminum nitrate. That is also salt because it's metal with polyatomic ion. So if you have metal with non-metal or metal with polyatomic ion, it would be ionic compound, and they are referred to as salt. So all salts that dissolve in water, they are a strong electrolyte because they generate ions. All the strong acid dissolved in water. So if you have HCl, when it dissolves in water, it would dissociate and it gives Cl H plus and Cl minus. It's going to count as electrolyte. All the strong bases like sodium hydroxide, when it dissolves in water, it would give sodium ion plus the hydroxide ion. So these are, uh, you know, it dissolves in, in water and generates ions. So they are strong electrolytes, strong base, strong acid, and soluble salts are strong electrolytes. All liquid salts, we don't have liquid salts. Salts are, are at room temperature, they're all solids, but if you heat them up and you melt them, 
then we have uh, liquid salts. And if they are liquefied, they would conduct electricity. So we talked about the strong electrolytes, non-electrolytes. So what are weak electrolytes? Weak electrolytes, those are weak acid or um, weak bases. So if you have like uh, acidic acid, CH3, COOH, when it does, it does dissociate, but it reaches equilibrium. And when it does reach equilibrium, COO minus plus H plus, that is generating ions only like 1% dissociation, let's say. So we get limited number of ions. So it does conduct electricity, but that is very limited. So we have weak electrolytes. Same thing for weak bases and all the salts that they are, they dissolve in water, but partially dissolve in water like copper hydroxide or cupric hydroxide or copper two hydroxide, whatever you name it is going to be copper two plus and hydroxide ion. So this is, uh, this is weak electrolyte because again, it gives limited number of ions. Um, so in this experiment, we are going to test few substances and those substances, they are listed in the lab manual. Uh, also the experiment is done for you to record. Um, the part of the question and the pre-lab is asking for you to write the molecular equation and the ionic equation. Molecular equation, basically you write the molecular formula for reactant. If you're adding sodium chloride and silver nitrate, you add the, the molecular formula for the reactants that yields the product. And you put them in a molecular form and that's the molecular formula. In the molecular equation, you wanna make sure, first of all, balance it and also include the phases. And uh, if there is a solid product that forms, you indicate with S, if it's AQ, you would indicate with uh, AQ, that means soluble in water. Going from molecular equation to total ionic equation, you would dissociate everything that is AQ. If it says AQ, dissociate. If it says solid, don't, okay? Don't, don't dissociate. This is going to just transfer like that to the ionic equation. If you had a, a compound in gas phase, it will stay. Any molecular compound would stay. You don't dissociate because they don't dissociate to give ions. Um, but um, if you have uh, anything with the AQ designator, you would dissociate to ions. That gives you total ionic equation. A net ionic equation, however, is going to, to um, result after you cancel spectator ions. What are spectator ions? Anything that appears exactly the same way on both sides of the equation. So I have spectator sodium ion and I have spectator nitrate ion. What is left, silver ion chloride ion gives silver chloride. This is the net ionic um, equation. Uh, and that's gonna help you to, to, to answer the questions in the in the pre-lab and also for your data sheet.